Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome back to our channel Kampung Inggris LC in T2 Teaching Tutorial Program with me, Mr. Muto. Okay, in this opportunity, in this change, pada kesempatan kali ini, saya akan membagikan atau memberikan clue. I would like to give you the clue or I would like to share you about how to increase our speaking skill. Because we know if we want to be a good speaker, if we want to be able to speak English fancy, so of course we have to sharpen our English skill. So how do we we can sharpen our English skill? I would like to give you these tips. Okay, one of the tips that uh, we can learn to increase our speaking skill, to make our speaking is better and better. Untuk membuat speaking kita itu lebih bagus lagi itu adalah how to debate ya bagaimana cara melakukan debat nah bisa nggak sih kita itu nanti kalau misalkan tiba-tiba kita ngomong debat gitu kan bisa aja ya tapi di sini kita harus ada aturannya so we must have a rule if we don't have a rule so maybe our conversation will not be maximally for our English Uh, increasing, oke. Okay? Nah, dalam debat sendiri itu ada beberapa poin yang harus kita perhatikan. If you want to do debate, if you want to uh, want to increase your English skill by debating, the first step that you will have to do is the mention should be controversial. The point, the mention means maksud dari mention itu adalah tema. Tema yang harus kita bawakan itu harus kontroversial. Maksudnya kontroversial itu adalah Ketika when people will say agree in this side and other side will say disagree, so it must be controversial. Nah, kenapa alasannya harus controversial? Karena kalau controversial, orang akan lebih bergairah untuk ngobrol. So they will keep on their desire to speak. Okay, for example. Yeah, I would like to give you the example about the mention, the controversial topic, seperti media sosial causes juvenile delinquency. Ah, media sosial yang menyebabkan adanya kenakalan remaja. Nah, di sisi lain orang mungkin mendidik anaknya dengan menggunakan media sosial, tapi di sisi lain orang melihat bahasanya adanya media sosial ini membuat Anak-anak itu semakin lebih susah diatur, ya. So that's why they are difficult to be controlled. So that's why some people say I don't like the children or teenager operating the social media. Seperti itu. Okay, masih banyak lagi. Okay, and next is don't take a religion as the basic argumentation. Ya, jangan mengambil agama. Sebagai topik awalnya, topik dasarnya, ya. Don't take religion for the basic argumentation. Why? Kenapa kita tidak tidak diperbolehkan untuk mengambil tema-tema yang berbau religi atau berbau agama? Why? Because religion is very sensitive for the discussion, ya. Karena religi itu sangat sensitif sekali untuk dibahas. One and the second, if we talk about religion. Everything on religion is alright. Jadi semua yang ada pada agama itu pasti keputusannya mutlak benarnya seperti itu. So we cannot use religion as the basic argumentation. So what will we use for it? Ya kita bisa menggunakan uh, seperti hanya custom side or maybe economical problem, or political problem, or maybe education and social human life and others. Ya kita bisa mengambil Ya, kehidupan masyarakat, ekonomi, uh, pendidikan, atau budaya, dan lain-lain. Ya, kita bisa mengambilnya itu dari mungkin topik-topik yang memang beredar di media sosial saat ini, atau mungkin we can find it on the website, or maybe on the TV, or maybe on internet about the argumentation for the basic argumentation. So, the point is, don't take it for religion if you want to do. If you want to find the topic for your debating, next is give special attention to the ethic. Ya, jadi kalian harus memberikan uh, perhatian penuh terhadap etika, ya, etik, etika atau cara 
berdebat itu sendiri. Why? Because if we don't know about the rules, we don't know about the ethic of the way to debate. So our debating will be flat or maybe we cannot to debate it maximally. Jadi kita nggak bisa melakukan debat itu dengan sangat maksimal. So what are the ethic that we have to pay attention? The first is don't point for finger to the opponent. Ya, jadi kita tidak boleh menunjuk tangan. Ya, for example, I disagree with your opinion. You fail. This is wrong. Nah, so tidak boleh seperti itu, ya. So we don't use the finger. If you want to point or maybe kita pengen mempersilahkan, kita boleh. I disagree with your opinion because I think according to the educational literature, this case is not all influenced by the students. Nah, gitu. jadi kita bisa menggunakan uh, our gesture can be like this. Ya, kita bisa mempersilahkan seperti ini. Itu lebih it will be more polite than we use finger to point our opponent. Ya, opponent is partner kita ya, our partner in debate. Oke, okay, jadi tidak boleh menunjuk pakai jari because this is impolite. And the second is stand in the argumentation. Stand. Stand in the argumentation means that you will have to keep your mind and your argumentation according to your opinion. Jadi kalian harus uh, berada atau menjaga mempertahankan argumentasi yang sudah kalian putuskan. When you say agree, so please strengthen your argumentation from agree opinion. Yeah, something that can support your opinion when you say agree or otherwise in disagree. Seperti itu. And stay cool. Stay cool means santai, or we can say like relax, or stay calm. Ya, jadi kita harus relax, kita harus santai. Kita tidak boleh menggebu-gebu. We, we cannot speak in hurry, or maybe we cannot uh, increase our temper. So, jadi kalau misalkan kita tidak stay cool, itu nanti akan memperparah keadaan. Ya, ketika kita debat, pasti. Of course, when we are debating with our friends, or maybe with our opponent, Usually our desire is increasing. When our desire is increasing, if we cannot control ourselves, kalau kita nggak bisa ngontrol diri kita, itu nanti bakal loss ya. Kalau kita bakal ngeblank, terus kemudian nanti we will make our debate messy. Kita akan membuat debate kita berantakan dan juga emotional ya. Akan emosi seperti itu. So, relax, stay cool and calm waiting for your turn to share your opinion. And point D is don't change your mind. Ya, don't change your mind itu maksudnya adalah jangan pernah merubah pikiran kalian tentang argumentasi kalian. When you say disagree, for example, I agree if the government sweep the beggar in our country. So I will strengthen atau saya akan memperkuat argumentasi saya dengan cara mencari setiap argumentasi yang mendukung saya, saya tidak boleh bilang bahasanya uh, sebenarnya actually we feel pity to the beggar. Kita merasa kasihan kepada beggar. Ya, is okay lah. No, don't say like that. Ya, yeah. when you say agree and then you change your mind become disagree, it means that you will be lost. Kalian nanti akan kalah dan atau bisa dibilang kalian tidak konsisten. You don't take consistency in your argumentation. Okay, so tetap pada pendirian atau pendapat kalian. And in the point A is responsive. What does responsive mean? Responsive itu adalah kita merespon cepat, memberikan cepat tanggapan terhadap uh, lawan kita atau terhadap partner debat kita. Ya, yeah. if we can give a fast response with our opponent, so our speaking or our debating will be very nice and also maybe if we can do that maximally uh, we can make our conversation or we can make our debate is growing and our speaking will be increasing in this ya jadi speaking kita akan terlihat berbeda dan juga akan terlihat ada peningkatan atau kemajuan ketika kalian memang benar-benar responsif jadi ketika partner kalian bilang disagree i say agree You disagree, agree, 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 and then you uh, recount back. Ya, kalian membalas 
uh, argumentasi argumentasi yang sudah kalian persiapkan. So, responsif and also aktif ya dan juga harus aktif. The point for prepare proper vocabularies it is that when you try to take the topic and then please prepare about the vocabularies that you want to use it for your speaking. Kalian harus mempersiapkan vocabnya dulu kalau sudah menentukan topiknya. Kenapa? Karena kalau tidak mempersiapkan top vocabnya nanti kalian akan susah untuk ngomong seperti itu. Ya, yeah. you can say like objection. What is objection? Objection is when you want to give your opinion and then you stop your partner. Oke, okay, I give objection. Atau kita bisa bilang dalam bahasa Indonesia adalah uh, memberikan sanggahan. Oke, okay. atau interruption. Interruption itu adalah saya menyela atau kita boleh dibilang stay cool, ya. Yeah. Stand on your opinion and others vocabularies. Why do I ask you to do this? Why should we prepare about this vocabulary? Because if we don't use or if we don't prepare about our vocabularies, I think our speaking will be flat or we, we maybe we will get the trouble in speaking. So that's why prepare your vocabulary and then you can start your speaking. This is the tips how to do debate. Uh, if you want to use these tips to increase our English speaking, so it will really help you if you pay attention for this one. Okay, why? Because we know that increasing our English skill is not only we make conversation with other people, or maybe we can chat, or we messaging or calling, but also we can take some topic and then we can make like this way debate and then it will help you to be more active in speaking and your speaking will be better and better okay that's all about my tips that i can share you about how to debate i think it's going to be useful for your speaking skill i mean it's going to be useful for increasing or for growing for making your speaking better and better don't forget to like subscribe Share if you have question and request. Please comment below. See you in the next video. Bye bye.